Today we're getting into the latest Tesla news, including significant Model Y price increases, Tesla's robo-taxi bet, new features coming to all Teslas and more, so let's get into it, and a special thanks to Soylent for sponsoring a portion of this video. First up today, Tesla has just unveiled their next software update, and this one came a bit out of the blue. As always, Tesla is constantly improving their apps and in-vehicle software with over-the-air updates. It's one of the great things of owning a Tesla, the car improves throughout your ownership. This time, Tesla is making a number of interface changes and bringing a couple features many have wanted for a long time. They posted on X about the update saying, quote, your Tesla gets better while you sleep. Highlights from our upcoming spring release below. First are visual updates for the Model 3 and Y with AMD chips. When parked similar to how the Cybertruck is, there's an immersive full screen render of your car with its controls. This is a departure from what it was previously and it's a really cool interface change. They have improved the look of playback controls and made them larger with quick access to other things in media and then made expandable autopilot visualizations with a smaller map in the top right. I'll have to see this in practice, but I think it will give you multiple customizable options when parked or driving. For the auto shift out of park feature, this is now moving out of beta for the Model S and X and then moving into beta for a full auto shift feature. They say, quote, auto shift beta can now also shift between drive and reverse based on your surroundings in addition to shifting out of park. Seemingly when doing things like three point turns, you won't even need to shift on screen as it will do it for you when you come to a stop and then tap the brake. One feature many will be excited to hear is added is Audible. There is now a built-in native Audible media app coming to all Teslas. This is long overdue, but also great since all customers back for years now will get this. Spotify Q and playback speed now sync, and they have added a hands-free trunk feature for the Model S and X 2021 or newer and the new Model 3. Quote, stand still behind your trunk with phone key and the trunk will open on its own. I'm excited to try this and also see if it ever triggers at the wrong times. Definitely great to have when loading your trunk and your hands are full. This is kind of the equivalent of a kick sensor that many other cars would have. In select countries, you'll now get a preview clip of a sentry mode recording sent to your phone if the alarm is triggered, and then regen braking has been increased on the Model S and X 2021 or newer at highway speeds. For cars with rear screens as well, which now actually includes four of their five vehicles, all but the Model Y, rear passengers will now see trip details, time, and temperature on screen. This is one of those updates that really shows how fun it is to own a Tesla. If you're like me, simple visual changes and updates help make my car feel fresh, but they're also bringing many other useful features with updates like this. This update should be coming soon and I'm excited to see it. At the same time, many customers are still wondering, what about things like auto wipers? No mention of it here, so hopefully that will come in the near future. Some people are already seeing improvements in versions like FSD 12.3.3, but we'll have to see if they are truly improved at scale once everyone has those improvements and sees it in real life. Next up today, Tesla's pricing is always fluctuating. At times when they need more sales, they lower pricing, and at times where production can't keep up, they raise it. We also see them especially give certain discounts at the end of quarters, and most recently we've seen the ability to stack a number of incentives and inventory discounts. As of last week, inventory discounts were as high as $5,300 off on a brand new Model Y, and it led me to talk about how you may want to buy now if you're in the market. Things can change at the drop of a hat for Tesla, and now prices are back up. All inventory discounts have disappeared from Tesla's website for the Model Y, their most popular car, and this has resulted in the rear-wheel drive Model Y going up by $3,600. The long-range Model Y has gone up by $5,000, and the performance is up by $5,300. On Tesla's website, they still very much steer you towards a shop available, so inventory is very much still there, it's just not discounted unless it's a demo vehicle. Even for demo vehicles as well, the discounts are hundreds of dollars off instead of thousands. It seems Tesla Tesla may be changing things up quite a bit very soon here. Elon Musk has clearly gone into a different mode lately with Tesla changing things up, them firing 10% of their employees, two big executives leaving, and them going all in on autonomy. So it looks like sales may be changing too. In response to these pricing changes, Elon said, quote, we are simplifying and streamlining the whole Tesla sales and delivery system. It has become complex and inefficient. At the end of the day, it always seems that discounts on vehicle purchases drive sales, but at the same time, it was always hard to know if Teslas were on sale until you actually proceeded to purchase. Maybe they are finding that they were discounting cars to customers who were ready to buy regardless, and instead they will try to offer other incentives. Incentives could come with the referral program, clear advertised pricing discounts until a certain date, or a big one, low interest rate offers. 
Right now, high interest rates make monthly payments still quite high for many customers, even though vehicle prices have come down. So that could be a much bigger part of what helps Tesla sell cars in the future. We also saw them implement their strategy of pre-announcing a price increase to drive sales, and that again could be something we see. It's always a mystery as to when to buy a Tesla, when Tesla will introduce new options, and when pricing will change, but it seems things may be changing quite a bit. For now though, the Model Y has gone up in price, and I'm curious to see if this reflects demand outpacing production again, or if there's something else at play. Next up today, the idea of a robo-taxi has been on Tesla's mind for a long time now. In fact, all the way back in 2019, they were talking about the robo-taxi idea and how each could make about $30,000 in profit per year. In recent years, we've heard that Tesla is working on an affordable $25,000 car and a dedicated robo-taxi. Recently, however, we've seen reports that Tesla's $25,000 EV is canceled. Elon refuted these claims, but this article still seems to have some accuracy to it, with sources saying Elon's directive is to go all in on robo-taxi. Now we have more details that seem to point to Elon doing exactly this. Reportedly, Tesla was working on that $25,000 car that many have called Model 2, but internally it was codenamed NV9. Quote, Musk told Tesla's team in Austin in December 2023 that NV9, an expansion at Gigafactory Texas for the new cheaper next-gen model, was a priority for 2024. Now this project has at the very least been postponed in favor of Tesla putting all resources into their robo-taxi, and we can see the results pretty quickly. Tesla laid off 10% of their staff and two top executives that we have talked about a lot over the years left, Drew Baglino and Rohan Patel. Reportedly at Giga Texas as well, quote, the project was recently completely defunded and many people involved in it were laid off as part of the round of layoffs announced today. Tesla is going to focus on their giant data center for the robo-taxi at Giga Texas. Internally, there is now an August deadline, which Elon announced shortly after these stories broke, and there seems to be some doubt for Tesla reaching that goal internally. These reports have further been confirmed by well-known Tesla sources like Chris Zhang, who said, Elon has re-entered wartime CEO zone. This scene is familiar to the veterans of the Tesla community. Today, Elon decided to bet the entire company on RoboTaxi. In response to this, Elon posted, not quite betting the company, but going balls to the wall for autonomy is a blindingly obvious move. Everything else is like variations on a horse carriage. This clearly has been his thought for a long time, but FSD just wasn't there and always took longer than he expected. Now with the latest version 12 iterations, it seems he has regained his confidence. Next, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Soylent. Soylent is a complete nutrition brand with a science-backed take on health and wellness. Healthy and balanced meals are often too expensive or take too much time to make. So Soylent makes foods, drinks, and powders that provide balanced nutrition in convenient, affordable formats. It's the perfect synergy of macro and micronutrients backed by science. Every ingredient has been validated through clinical research to work with each other and for your health. They're tasty too. In a survey of 40,000 people by Cantor Research, they were awarded product of the year, and their formula consistently beats both dairy and plant-based competitors on creaminess, smoothness, and taste. It's also extremely convenient since no refrigeration is required, and they are shelf-stable for over a year. Then Soylent has donated more than 6 million meals through their Soylent for Good programs in partnership with food banks, shelters, hospitals, and more. The first 500 people to click the link in the description below and use code SHA25 will get 25% off their first subscription with Soylent, so check it out. Obviously, there are two sides of this. On the one hand, if Elon ends up wrong here, this could prove to be pretty bad for Tesla going forward. And this seems to be what most people assume will happen here. Maybe they can still push through with this project and end up shifting to a drivable $25,000 car if they have to, but they could end up putting everything into this project and find it impossible to get to that next level. Next level being a level where a steering wheel isn't actually necessary, they accept full liability for FSD's actions, and they receive full regulatory approval. On the other hand, if Elon ends up right here, this could prove to be the best business decision ever made by a company. That's how it always works. Hindsight is 2020, and many people are extremely split on this. They think it's a joke, or they have full confidence in Tesla and Elon Musk since people doubted the Model 3, Model Y, and Cybertruck. Clearly, we don't know the full story here, but it seems, based on Elon's biography, that this is likely what happened. Tesla has had a bit tougher time selling cars lately, so Elon came back in full force to shake things up and gave an extremely ambitious reveal date in August of this year for this car. This is how he has done things in the past and how he handled the Cybertruck's original unveil, and it creates a crunch time that is very controversial, but seems to work out in the long run for Tesla. He sees FSD's progress and decided this is the only future product that makes sense. So he said, you have less than six months to the team. 
At the same time, they streamlined things and then some top executives decided they've put in a lot of good time at Tesla and it's time to move on or focus in on family things. Tesla is likely entering another intense phase internally, and it's well documented that it's very tough on employees. All that to say the next year should be very interesting to see unfold. I'm excited to see that robo-taxi unveil, see FSD's progress, and see which way this story goes. What do you think will happen though? Will this succeed or will it end up so delayed that Tesla has to shift plans and ends up somewhat behind on affordable EVs? Leave a comment below to let me know your thoughts. Next up today, the latest updates for the Cybertruck. As we talked about earlier, Tesla is always improving their cars with over-the-air updates, and the Cybertruck is no exception. Coming soon are some new software features, and one especially big one that fully impacts the driving experience of this truck. In spring of 2024, the Cybertruck will be getting new horn and lock sounds, cabin overheat protection, the power share feature, and an onboard colorizer. Most of those are features that simply haven't made their way to this truck from Tesla's other vehicles yet, but the big one is that Tesla is improving steering with an over-the-air update. The Cybertruck's lead engineer posted on X saying, quote, the update that's rolling out to the fleet makes full use of the front and rear steering travel to minimize turning circle. In this case, a reduction of 1.6 feet just over the air. As noted by Sawyer Merritt, that's a 3.6% improvement over what the Cybertruck's turning circle has been. When maneuvering such a large truck, that seems like it will definitely be noticeable, and really, this is just unlocking more capability with that four-wheel steering system. Updates like this are always exciting to see because they show the true potential of over-the-air updates. Things like a colorizer are cool and definitely fun to have, but seeing the way that Tesla can actually look at customer data, optimize a feature, and change it for everyone's existing truck, not just next year's, is very exciting. At the same time, there are still a number of features missing on this truck that point to it being released in somewhat of a beta form, as Tesla likes to do. Even though Tesla is talking a ton about FSD supervised and planning to go all in on their robo-taxi in the future, the Cybertruck still doesn't have basic auto steer. It has traffic-aware cruise control, but does not have auto steer or FSD, even though FSD is something included with all Foundation Series trucks. So customers are paying for the Foundation Series upgrade, a $20,000 upcharge, and paying for FSD with that, which still has no word on an arrival date from Tesla. So that's an example of an update customers will very much get excited for, but very much should have been there at launch. With that said, it appears the stop sale on the Cybertruck is still in place as they fix an issue with its accelerator pedal. It's not confirmed fully, but it seems that the accelerator pedal cover can come off of the pedal and get lodged into the floorboard, which is very much a safety concern. If the rumors there are true, we should see a fix in production pretty swiftly, followed by a recall of all Cybertrucks thus far. I guess the benefit there is we'll truly know how many Cybertrucks Tesla has delivered once headlines run all over, about 5,000 Cybertrucks being recalled, or whatever the number may be. In any case, production is really pumping at Giga Texas, and it's just crazy to see this many of something many thought would never ship. As for Cybertruck resale, it seems customers aren't having trouble selling, and prices have been dropping. We had previously seen some Cybertrucks going for double price, but now some are available for as low as a $40,000 markup. That's still a hefty markup, but it shows the difference between the Cybertruck and other crazy new cars. The Cybertruck is actually ramping. Within the next year, it will likely be hard to resell one of those for any more than Foundation Series pricing, but we'll have to wait and see. Next up today, a huge part of Tesla's innovative vehicle design is its internet connectivity. With this technology, they were one of the first automakers to enable automatic over-the-air software updates, along with a ton of other features. At the same time, they're able to collect a lot of user data in order to improve the functionality of these features. This connectivity started as 3G and was later updated to 4G LTE, but now they seem to be planning to upgrade it to 5G. In order to facilitate that upgrade, Tesla is considering setting up their own private 5G infrastructure. The company has added a listing on LinkedIn, looking for a cellular systems integration engineer. They are, quote, looking for an ACE engineer to build a seamless private 5G service in between Tesla products and our private 5G infrastructure. They continue that they are looking to deliver a best-in-class connectivity experience for all Tesla vehicles and Optimus on Tesla premises. So not only is Tesla looking to set up their own 5G wireless system for customer cars, but their Optimus robot will also be able to access it. That does make sense as the AI technology that powers Optimus is growing and improving all the time, so it needs to be extremely reliable. 5G offers significantly increased speeds and latency over 4G LTE, so Tesla investing into their own service could lead to huge upgrades in connectivity. Updates could download faster and Tesla could receive more high quality data at a much faster rate. 
On the other side of things too, this could be something that allows their products to connect together. Maybe in the future they have a robo-taxi fleet and all of their cars are talking to each other on their own network and it's reliable. I imagine a big move like this isn't simply to improve the speed of their car's connectivity. Last tip today, some updates from other automakers. One of Tesla's biggest competitors in the international EV market right now is the Chinese automaker BYD. They have made splashes around the world by offering electric vehicles at prices that many have found nearly impossible to compete directly with. Last month, BYD announced their cheapest vehicle yet, the Siegel Compact Car. That car comes in at the equivalent of around $10,000, which is an absolutely insane price. Its base trim can travel approximately 190 miles on a charge, which isn't great, but still very functional, especially when you consider the price of that car. Also worth noting, it's probably less than 190 when converted to EPA. Despite that low price tag, industry experts and competitors have actually complimented the vehicle's design and quality, while BYD maintains that they can still make a profit on every sale. That vehicle should soon arrive in the UK, where a compact, affordable EV could do very well. While Tesla was able to reclaim its spot as the best-selling EV maker in Q1 of this year, it's BYD's focus on affordability that has given them such a meteoric rise as of late. As BYD expands to more and more markets, offering fully featured EVs at prices as low as $10,000, then Tesla is going to need to start making big moves to stay on top, if that's their ultimate goal. While BYD does not currently sell vehicles in the US, they are exploring their options regarding building a new factory in Mexico to supply North America. If they were to build that factory, then they could launch a wave of affordable EVs into the US that might even be eligible for the US EV tax credit. I'm really curious to see if Tesla tries to compete in this regard or if they simply go another direction with the robo-taxi. While Tesla has made headlines with the development of its exciting multi-purpose robot Optimus, it's important to remember that they definitely aren't the only ones pursuing this technology. A ton of other companies like OpenAI, Boston Dynamics, and perhaps even Apple are in the race to build a marketable robot. Any robotics project that Apple has going on is very much shrouded in secrecy. So while we do know that Apple has a team dedicated to robotics, we can't know for certain how it's going. Anything they're working on is surely in the early prototype stages and may not ever see the light of day. There does remain the possibility that Apple may eventually create a humanoid robot though, that would be useful in completing household tasks or maybe put to work in Apple's factories. These have been the latest rumors as to what Apple is working on for their next big thing. While Apple is behind in terms of time spent on this project, what they do have is deep pockets. If Apple wanted to suddenly make a deep dive into robotics, they have enough money to bankroll a rapid development cycle or even acquire a company in that space. Robotics is a very promising field that Tesla and Elon Musk clearly see value in, so we'll have to see if Optimus may someday see competition from something that may genuinely be called an iRobot. That's all the latest Tesla news for today, so in the meantime, if you want to see my full review of the new 2024 Model 3 after two months, you can check out that video linked up here or in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.